Hey guys, what's going on? This is Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, DC. Super excited about shooting this video uh, today, uh, mainly because I just finished listening to some great personal development from Brian Tracy. Wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about it. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, this is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter. Make sure you're subscribing to our social channels. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit so that you can make money online. Like I mentioned in the opener, I just finished listening to some Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy is truly a thought leader, motivational speaker, inspiration to so many people. He's been around for so many years, still around right now, kicking and doing a fantastic job. I believe he's in his 80s. Don't 100% quote me on that, but I believe he's in his 80s now, living a wonderful life, just truly blessed going around the country helping people inspire people to do the things that they love one of the things that i really didn't really enjoy about brian tracy is some of his simple philosophies that he puts in place are really about self-confidence so that you can go out there and pursue the things that you're excited about pursuing he also talks a lot about leadership he talks a lot about really the confidence i, I think one of the things that brian tracy really stands out to me on is instilling confidence within yourself he has a fantastic audio program that talks about how anyone can be a millionaire if you just make the decision to become a millionaire. In that, in that book, he talks about the story of how he was hosting a seminar in which someone came from another country. When they got here to this country, they had no employment, uh, they had nowhere to live, they had no food. They ended up going to the library when which the li librarian uh, recommended that they check out some of the Brian Tracy audio cassettes. Uh, after listening to the Brian Tracy cassettes over and over again, that individual in turn became a millionaire, and that's fantastic. Now, I'm not saying that if you listen to Brian Tracy, you're going to become a millionaire, but these are some of the fundamentals that he teaches and has taught for many years uh, and, and will continue to teach for many years to come. Like I said before, I was listening to some Brian Tracy, and my day has just absolutely been jam-packed full of activities both today and yesterday and one of the things that i really enjoyed about listening to brian tracy today was how he talked about making ensuring that you do those things that are most important to the success of your business and the success of 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 your identity of who you who you believe yourself to be ensure that you do those things first thing in the morning now for a quick example that would be let's say if you were a person who is looking to lose weight 5 10 20 30 40 whatever many pounds have a goal to lose and you know that one of the most important things in order for you to reach that goal is going to be to go for a walk uh, around the block well, Brian Tracy suggests that you go for that walk first thing in the morning. Therefore, that, that way you don't allow yourself to come up with reasons or get distracted by other opportunities that could prevent you from doing the most important thing to help you reach your goals. For me, the exact same thing. I know that there is a couple things that are extremely important to success of the Wi-Fi Entrepreneur brand. Of course, that's one creating the blogs, making sure that I continue to post daily blogs over to wifientrepreneur.com. Also shooting videos like this, getting into the habit of making sure that one, because I know it's very important that I put it very early on my list to accomplish on the day to day. So therefore I know that I'm achieving those goals that are gonna help me um, meet the bigger goal. So I know for, uh, in some of our uh, earlier videos, we've talked a lot about how you plan out your your year is by first planning out your month how you plan out your month is by first planning out your week how you plan your week is by first planning out your day and how you plan out your day is by making a list and identifying what's important making sure that you're doing those things that are important and so on and so forth so with this with this new attitude of ensuring that i take those things that i'm usually saving to the end of the day, moving to the front of the day. I, I'm putting myself in a better position to continue to provide the content and, and the information that you guys need uh, in order to see your success, in order to see 
uh, what we've discussed with you guys as a, a reality. So I'm excited about that. If you are uh, working on a goal, I encourage you to take on some of these exact same principles where you look at what it is that you're trying to accomplish in the next year, month, week, and then break it down into daily goals and then prioritize those goals so that you're doing the most important things, things that will have the most impact for uh, you achieving those goals. We wanna move them to the top of the list because we don't want Netflix to interrupt us. We don't want your sister to call in and interrupt us. We don't want these natural everyday distractions that tend to come up uh, to throw us off of our momentum, our excitement, our energy that we're putting forth in accomplishing our goals. So I hope that uh, my experience uh, over the last few days, this knowledge, this uh, idea on how to prioritize your day by putting those things that are important at the top of the list is important to you uh, or is relevant to you and is something that you can use moving forward. I want you to know about a new blog that I just posted online this morning. I'm excited about it because of the fact that I believe there is a lot of individuals out there who are involved in network marketing, which is what the blog was recently about. And I really believe that some of the information that we just put on this new blog is gonna really help people who may be dealing uh, are working in the network marketing industry. I'm gonna actually leave a link below because of the time on this video and the fact that I have more things that I need to make sure that I accomplish today, I'm gonna leave a link below. So if you're in the network marketing industry, there's gonna be some content down below that I want you to check out, okay? Also, if you are an entrepreneur or you know an entrepreneur, you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur and you wanna make money online, I want to make sure you know about our free online training center. We have put tons of information all in one location, okay? We've consolidated all this information, put it in one centralized location so that you can navigate it easily. Things like how to get yourself a digital business card, how to create a website for free, how to find the keywords that you need in order to propel your business, how to spy on your competition. All of this is made available to you inside of our free online training center. This is also gonna be linked down below. Like I said before, I just really want to quickly jump on to ensure that I continue to put forth my habit. What you're gonna notice in the coming uh, videos is how I'm going to begin to now organize this conversation a little bit better uh, because of trying to do so much so quickly I've been kind of going off the cuff when it comes to shooting these videos. Put the camera up, click record, and start talking. Uh, but moving forward, I definitely want to make sure that I organize the information a little bit better so that the framework of the conversation stays on track. So Brian Tracy talks about that a lot as well. He says that if you're shooting a seven minute video, you should probably spend 45 minutes before shooting the video uh, in order to prepare your conversation in a way that can be of best and of most impact. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna do moving forward. So I hope that this information or this conversation wasn't too random for you today. Uh, truly, just trying to show you some of the things that I've been working on, some of the roadblocks, some of the, 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 the people, or some of the ways in which I've overcome this, some of the people who've helped me uh, overcome these challenges so that you can plug into them as well. I, you may not be familiar with Brian Tracy. This may be the very first time you've ever heard of Brian Tracy. And if that's the case, then I've succeeded in this video with gaining, with giving you that, uh, that new exposure that I truly believe can help you reach success in a number of different avenues of life. We're talking about the good life once before. The good life is uh, health, wealth, family, uh, those are some of the pillars of the good life. Ty Lopez has it, uh, has his version of what he considers the good life. We have a Ty Lopez 67 steps inside of our free online training center. You can go ahead and go over there and check it out uh, for yourself and see what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave it there. I feel like I rambled a little bit too much on this video, but again, um, just, just trying to show the consistency, uh, the discipline. I'm going to leave it there. Until we talk again, guys, if you guys know anyone who's interested in turning their passion into profit, tell them about our website, wifientrepreneur.com. Tell them about our blog. Tell them about our YouTube videos, or our social media accounts. We want to help them make money online, and we want to help you make money online as well. So until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.